Hello YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Cocoon Talk. So it's basically where I wrap myself up like a little cocoon and talk to you guys about what's going on. So, something I want to talk today about is ghosting. Ghosting is nothing new, it's an old term, it's not something that just arised, it's been around for a while now, and it's increasingly become a thing. Um, this can relate throughout the BJD hobby, but as well in regular society. And um, the short version for me is I believe some people deserve to be ghosted. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you are being combative with someone or arguing and nobody wants to stop and it's just continuing, then sometimes people deserve the right to just ignore you. If you are a toxic person or you're negative or you bring them down or you say words like can't, never, will not, not able to, um, anything negative like that when they're trying to better themselves, it is completely understandable for them to just not want to talk to you. Like, entirely. It's not... It's not something that should surprise anybody. So I get real confused when I see this internet drama or even real-life drama, people that say they've been ghosted and they're real upset and they feel like they don't get an explanation but everybody else does. I am so tired of seeing people upset and sad and angry all the time. Getting premature wrinkles underneath their eyes, always angry, with that sad, droopy frown on their face. 24 hours. The world is already a mess. Just turn on the news. It's already bad. Some people are scared to leave their houses. Why should you have a toxic person on top of that to make things worse? They don't deserve the privilege of a response because if their response back to your response is to troll you or bring up all your problems again or make you feel less than, to depress your talents, that person does not deserve to be acknowledged. They don't. This is what I've been trying to explain to people for years and years and years and years and years. After high school, through high school, into college, we are our own people. Okay? And in this time on earth, we don't deserve to be sad or angry all the time because of relationships and problems. That doesn't mean you can't fight the good fight through a relationship romantically. But we are talking about if you have someone in your life, romantic or not, friendship, family or not, if there is someone in your life who constantly is a negative person, toxic, upsetting, Debbie Downer uses those words like can't, won't, not able to, never, I can never do this. I won't do that. I can't do this. I can't make it. It's too much. All of that is so, so hurtful when somebody is trying their damnedest to do well. Whether it be going to the gym, training for a marathon, or just slimming down and watching their calories. Oh, you can never do that. You can't stop drinking soda. See, that's the kind of people that need to be pushed out of your life. Even if they're family, at least the communication needs to be lessened. If someone is not helping you grow as a person, then they're not helping you at all. If your friends are jealous of you, they are not real friends. These are all things I feel like we should know, but some people need to be reminded of. You don't need to live your life angry and upset all the time. Now, some people will take it from the other side and say, oh, well, you, you're allowing yourself to be angry or upset. 
but those of you who have had relationships with people who are the way I'm describing right now know it's not anything you necessarily allow. We are a sensitive being, and especially of those of us in the doll hobby. That's why we're in the hobby. We are a sensitive being. We think with our whole heart. We are emotionally equipped to feel what other people are feeling. We have a heightened sensitivity of empathy and pain. And, and we want to help anyone who's feeling that way, if we can. Well, when you have someone in your life who's constantly doing the opposite, you have absolutely every right to not respond to them. You don't have to return a call. You don't have to return an email. You don't have to respond to a text message. These are things you do not have to do. There's nobody forcing you to do anything. If someone is hurting you emotionally, physically, verbally, or trying to make you grow less, do not allow that behavior. And that's across all life. And that's not a specific age. Because so many people let other people's opinions affect them. You could be doing amazingly well. And someone's jealous. Or angry about it. Or upset that you're not miserable like because they are. This happens all the time. If somebody has a if if somebody has a not as good job that you have and you have an amazing job, they want you to be on their level so you can be miserable together. And that's just the sad fact of where we are right now. Now that doesn't mean that it can't be fixed. But you have to be strong enough to do it. And a lot of people are not. That's just the truth. There are so many people who have such good hearts and such deep emotions that want to help these people. But let me tell you something, dear. You cannot alone help someone's mental health or emotional state. You alone cannot do that. They have to be willing to want that change. And they have to be willing to accept the help professionally to make that change happen. It's not something you can do for them. Helping them, giving them money, supporting them, listening. All of those are wonderful traits. You're an amazing friend. You're loyal. AF. But the rest of it, they have to pull their own weight. Nobody helped you get to this point. And if they did, it's because you wanted them to. They have to want the same thing. So if someone ghosts you, then that's probably why. Because you're not giving them room to breathe. You're suffocating them. You're upsetting them. You're causing them ill feels. And then if you've been ghosting someone, you have every right to be if they're doing the same thing. You don't have to explain it to the internet. You don't have to explain it to friends. You don't have to go on Facebook and make a big deal about it. It is your life, and you choose who's in it at the end of the day. Don't allow yourself to constantly be angry and upset. Nobody deserves to be angry and upset all the time. And that's it. If you like this video, hit the like button. There is a bell at the top that will tell you when I'm making a video. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.